This is a very special segment here this morning. So as journalists, as we both are, we both know that many of us have a lot of stories within us. But obviously, my colleague, my friend, Ken Baker, has brought his story to life in your new book. It is called Joy Goes With Us. We both have our copies right here. And you take a deep dive here in terms of your journey of faith mm -hmm. and everything as being a, a gay Christian yes. and the complexities that have come along with that. But first, I, I want to point out, because I read the book, and one of the really things that you talk about initially is how you grew up, that faith was always central to your all's household. Tell me about that. For sure. So a lot of people don't know this. Uh, at 12, I was actually a preacher. I talk about this in the book. Uh, I was going around a little evangelist and um, they gave me a little license and I think it was once every Sunday I was yeah. preaching and then it caught on and I was jumping around to churches and that kind of thing. So yeah. it was always censored. I mean, we went to church Sunday, Wednesday, uh, Friday nights I was in church. So, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. And I talk about it in the book. It wasn't like, oh gosh, I have to go to church again. It yes. was like, I want to be there. Absolutely. And then how did that kind of take you then to your college experience, right? So, yeah. So I went to Oral Roberts University. Of course, I wanted to be a pastor and evangelist and that kind of thing. Yeah. But then, as I talk about in the book, that's when it kind of hit me like, oh my gosh, I think I'm a gay man. What do I do? And how does this marry right. with, with Jesus? You know what I mean? Sure, like this inner conflict, right? right? Because you're at this school, you have such profound faith, and yet it seems like the faith is telling you uh, that's bad. Yes, what you yeah. are seems to be bad. How then did you work through that inner conflict, oh, you know? It took years, yeah. I mean, more than a decade because, and I talk about this in the book, at one point I would consider myself suicidal over yeah. this. I mean, I love Jesus, I wanted to do what he called me to do, I wanted to be that. Then also I was like, I started getting into self-acceptance and I was like, there's, I finally came after all the crying and yeah. the fasting and the praying and, and all the gnashing of teeth, I was like, there's no way that my Jesus hates me. Right. I finally got to that point. Of course, there was some therapy involved and all that, and it was sure. pastoral therapy and it was regular therapy. I believe in approaching life in a balanced way. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You can't always have too much of this and too, put it together and see where it goes. Absolutely, and be true to yourself, yes. right? Okay, so now I wanna fast forward a little bit to the process of you writing this book. What was it, if you can remember, what was the, the nexus of this when you all of a sudden thought, I need to put my thoughts, my feelings, you know, pen to paper. I need to start writing this down. This was, I never wanted to write a book in my whole life. This is yeah. so foreign to me and it's crazy to me that this happened. There was an incident, there was something that was said to me that, and I won't go into that because it's not about that, but, and I felt like God told me, he said, you need to write all this down yeah. and you need to take 17 years of what I told you about faith and who you are and put it in this thing. And then I didn't tell anybody I was writing a book and then it just came together and I'm not, this has been the easiest thing to do. It felt like God greenlit so many things for me as far as finding, I got a, sh a shout out to uh, Brighton Publishing and Claremont County, they helped. Shiners, I just had a book signing down there. I'm not kidding, everything just came because it was God's project, you right. know what I mean? And I was just the vessel. Yeah, and, and I think like the, the honesty there and the, the, you know, the sincerity that you have with this entire experience then and us being able to see you in this new light as this author and everything, this, the joy goes with you. You're always the most joyous person in the newsroom, by the way. But I really think that this this hit home with so many of us because we were able to then see a little deeper layer of you. For sure. Right? Yeah. And okay, so I want to know where people can, can buy this. I'm honored because I was able to get mine signed by you over the weekend, but where can people go today? Today you can get it on Amazon. Okay. I will be at uh, Cincy Magazine's Gay Pride event, which is uh, uh, on the 21st. I'll have okay. a booth down there so you can get it there. But I mean, this book is very uplifting. It's loving. It is. And I, I just can't believe it. I'm an author. I, I know. Well, you know what? I mean, again, if you're just, if you're true to yourself and there's nothing that I saw in here other than the exact Ken that I know, and I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. I know. Stop that. <laughs> All right. 1027. We'll be right back right after this.